going on? You and the two. We finally got loaded over here at Tropicana. So we gotta talk about it next. A trucking. A truck deal. Basically, this story was kind of like jacked up. So we took that load from California to Georgia. We got to Georgia early. They wouldn't take us. So we had to shut down, got back up, drop that load. We got another load that went to, Cal uh, went to Florida. We took that down to Florida, dropped that off at a uh, drop yard then got another Tropicana load that was supposed to pick up at 3. Got the Tropicana at like 2. Went to go check in. The guy said that load is not going to be ready till later on that night. Got back in the truck. Let my dispatcher know that that load wasn't going to be ready, ready until that night. So that night came around. I called, I called again. They said, oh, that load won't be ready till 2 a.m called back at 2 a.m. They said that load's not gonna be ready until that afternoon. Called back again that afternoon. They said it's not gonna be ready till the next day. The next day came, that Saturday. They said, oh, it's not gonna be ready till that night. Called that night. They said it's not gonna be ready till the morning. I got a message from my fleet manager, my weekend fleet manager, which is now Sunday. He said, any word on the load? I said, they said that it's not going to be ready to anytime soon. So he said, all right, I'll see if there's any other loads that we can take that are available. A couple of hours later, he gives me a load that's available. We go over there, get loaded. I end up talking to the guy that's doing the loads, and he said that there was a breakdown in the, uh, in the line or something like that. Had him real backed up. So he loaded us, got underway. So we got, under, got underway, start rolling. And you'll never guess what I see. As we're rolling down I-10, going to California. you never guess what I see. We're gonna talk about it next. So I'm rolling on I-10 and lo and behold, I look on the left side as I'm looking out my mirrors and checking my blind spots, checking my tandems, all of that. I see a way station with all types of cops and medical stuff. I'm thinking there's an accident. Then I realize it's a checkpoint. They are now checking out of state travelers going into Florida and with a little bit of research, my wife was able to tell me that they are checking people and people that are out of state could face possible jail time for running into other states if they haven't self-quarantined. That's on I-10 going east on the border of Alabama and Florida. So be aware of that, guys, if you guys are traveling out here that if you guys are not in the truck and you're in a car you possibly could get hemmed up at the Alabama Florida border in that vicinity um, because of because of the coronavirus and I know that up in upstate New York they're starting to do the same thing got some family that lives up there and they're they're cracking down up there they're looking at uh, a New York New Jersey and Connecticut crackdown and locking folk up if they are traveling with the due to the quarantine. They're not affect, it's not affecting truck drivers yet, but out of state travelers, you don't want to catch them boys and getting hemmed up if you're not obeying what they're asking you guys to obey, obey because of this dang on coronavirus. Anyway, guys, be blessed, less stress. Keep the left door closed, right foot down, only when it's safe. And like I always say, I will see you on the blacktop. Take it easy. Safe trucking.